the two of us like that. Hi friends! I haven't seen you guys in a long time. Um, it's been the most stressful past couple weeks of my entire life, so I really didn't have any time to film. And when I did try to film, I tried to film a thrift flip video the other day. I went thrifting, was there for literally an hour, like looking through everything. I could not find one thing that I could thrift flip that I like, you know? So after that, I wanted to film another, like I wanted to film a video for you guys. And I tried to film this video and then I sat down to edit it and it was out of focus. The sound was weird, it was so bad, I was like, this is just my luck. So sorry guys, I haven't posted in a while, but here I am. Um, I'm really excited to film. I've been posting on Instagram and Twitter like apologizing, but um, I'm back now, so that's good. Uh, before we get started, this is fake. Yeah, my parents will not let me pierce my nose, so I gotta settle for a fake one. Yeah, that's basically what I have to say. I also got my 100,000 um, YouTube plaque, so that's cool, it's over there. Um, I haven't hung it up yet, but when I do, I'm pretty sure it'll be here, so just like a slight flex, just like back there. This video is going to be a different one, kind of. I'm talking about body confidence, everything like that, um, emphasizing on the chest. <laughs> you guys can see, no boobs, nothing, flat as a board. And I used to be so mad about it, like I was just so sad about it. I mean, I'm not like 100% now, but it's just I've learned to accept it. And there's really nothing you can do except for get surgery. So yeah, that's not really what I'm thinking about right now, but I don't know, we'll see. I just wanted to do a confidence video for you guys because a lot of my audience, they're in like middle high school, that's when we're the most insecure and all that stuff. So I wanted to talk to you guys about um, how I feel and some benefits about being not not blessed here <laughs> um i'm not making this video to bash on anyone with big boobs like cool like i don't have boobs you do that's cool i don't like it doesn't matter like boobs are really not that big of a deal but i just wanted to make a confidence video because i know when i was younger and all that stuff i'd really want something like this and i was watching jesse page's um video on this so i'll link it down below and ask you guys on instagram if you guys wanted a video like this and you guys said yes so i wanted do one because you guys want it and i know it'll help at least one person so i'm gonna talk about how how not my story because it's not really that big of a deal but like about how i felt and everything like that and if you guys relate you guys can know that you guys are not alone um i'm gonna go to all this stuff so i know in like middle and i still do it now honestly um whenever i wear like tight shirts i would literally i don't need a bra i really don't but I wear one to make it, you know what I mean? <laughs> Just because of that. But like literally now, like I wear a bra maybe twice a week. Like, cause I wear like a lot of like baggy clothes, like right now. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I used to do. So if you guys are late, let me know. Like a lot of my friends would just like not be nice about it. Um, they'd be like, oh my God, you have no boobs, all this stuff, like blah, blah, blah. Like you look like a boy. And I was like, okay, like that really helps with my confidence. Thank you so much for telling me that. And like, I used to go dress shopping with my friends and like, you can't pull that off. You don't have any boobs, all this stuff. And I'm like, okay, thanks. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of awful, but whatever. I've learned to like not care because really doesn't matter, really doesn't. It's just like, I wouldn't mind if to screw a little just because um, I would fit clothes better and like bathing suits would like fit because the thing is, I like specifically get bathing suits that don't, put a focus on like um i like to wear like the sports bra kind one so it's like it doesn't go down like this you know what i mean okay so my camera's about to die uh let's see how much i could film this video for um but yeah so now i'm just gonna go on to some benefits of having small boobs i mean you know gotta look on the bright side of things right every everything has its pros and cons and i want to only talk about the positive things because what's the point of being like sad you know what i mean the first thing i already said no bras don't have to worry about it bras are expensive you know uh the second thing is that kids bras are so much cheaper so if you do want to wear a bra um sometimes then you could get the kids because why not i didn't know that bras were so expensive like at victoria's secret like i would like, I remember the first time I went to, like, Victoria's Secret with my friend, she was getting a bra, and I was like, this is expensive, not down. I get my bras at Target, I'm living with it, it's fine. You know, it's a lot better, you don't have to worry about spending so much money on 
something i don't i think it's dumb another thing is that you get to wear clothes from when you're in middle school i still wear clothes from when i'm like 13 and i still fit them like a glove because honestly i did not grow at all nowhere i didn't grow in height nothing so that's fine <laughs> another thing is kind of touchy um but i kind of hate this but you're not sexualized as much and i want to talk about this for a little bit because i don't think chest size or anything like that or just anything in general should allow someone to sexualize another person like okay they have big boobs they have big boobs cool like that doesn't mean that you can cat call them or so they're a slut because they wanted to wear this tight tank top but if see the difference is is like i know i have this top that goes like it's like a bandeau kind of and it has like the opposite shoulder thing i wear it sometimes in my videos but i really like it but i've never been really sexualized in it because i don't have like huge like my i don't have a cleavage that's showing but if i did i would be because i know my friends are like oh my god i really love that top but i can never wear that because i look like a slut and i'm like what just wear whatever you want which i think is just awful that people feel like restricted on what they could wear because of their boob size if that makes sense i don't really know but yeah i guess that's like a benefit like but it's like shouldn't be like you know what i mean like it shouldn't be something you should worry about but another thing is kind of funny so you could pull off for kids meals because it's really fun um when you look like a child i don't i know it's because i already look like a baby and i think just the fact that i have no boobs just like helps with that but whenever i used to go to supplementation with my family i would always pass their 12 and under i never had to pay for an adult meal because i just look like a baby i don't know if other people relate to that if they look actually their age but i look 13 12 i'm living it's really good i love kids meals because like, you don't have to deal with sagging because with bigger boobs, they tend to sag when you get older, obviously. The skin, just, you know, you know what I mean. And the last thing is working out is fine without a sports bra. I never, like, thought, like, boobs, like, would hurt when you run. Because I just never had to experience that. So, whenever, like, in PE or whatever, like, I wouldn't have to wear a sports bra and, like, I would be fine. But then I'd, like, my friends, like, complain about how boobs, like, how their boobs hurt. And I'm like, don't have to deal with that. Um, I also have a couple YouTubers and just videos that you guys can watch if you guys um, want some more confidence with everything like that. So I talked about it before, but I didn't think that I could pull off clothes because I didn't have boobs. The people that help me with that is Whaley and Jen. Um, if you guys know them, Jen M and Whaley, I don't know her last name, but you guys probably know them if you guys watch me. Uh, they both don't have big boobs either and they slay in all their clothes and it just makes me feel like oh my god If they can do it, I can do it too. So I'll link them down below too I really don't need to because you guys probably know them already There's also this other youtuber that's a video called clothes that small boobed girls can pull off I think or something like that and she has the same experience as me where her friends tell her that she cannot um, Pull off something because she doesn't have any boobs, but you guys can watch that video too and kind of like figure out what compliments a small chest and everything like that so i'll be having a lot of links down there but yeah i'm scared my camera will die so i'm gonna end it here i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want another kind of confidence or like big sis three videos for me let me know uh yeah sorry again for like being mia for a little bit but i've been very active on my other social medias it's just youtube i really wasn't really wasn't working the world was against me but yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye